All right, what's going on YouTube? So, so far I finished my Marvel Legends. I might change Angel a little bit because you see, I got him like basically with white, um, white thread and a thumbtack. Had him hanging from the roof. I want to show him like gliding, like he's gliding over them. But I got too tired of like placing them around, so I just tied the string around a thumbtack, put them right there, let them float amongst the X-Men. Um, I'm going to redo some because as you see, like poor Morph. <laughs> but like I said, this is my collection. As long as they up there and I can't believe my man Remy Lebo. Let me see here. Ooh, they're going to remember this day. Hell yeah. Anyway, so I got them put back up there with the addition of Cable and Angel. So the fact that these fell over, I'm glad. But you know what I noticed? None of my fucking gargoyles fell. Like them bitches is standing rock solid. Um, another reason why on the, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, I was able to get, who did I get up in there? I was able to get the blob in there. Everybody else was there at first, but now I got them standing a different way. And then down here, I started saying, okay, do I really, like, I have too much without enough space that I need to have, like, complete teams on shelves, but I did want to represent, like, most people that I actually know. I hate to have Apocalypse down there. Tried to have them up there so much, but it just didn't work. So, like it. I like this. Every time I test this Deadpool, I love that, like, to me, to me, that is the best Deadpool for me, like, that I've seen. Like, I love it. And so, um, I got to find the flame effect. But, uh, yeah. So, then we put him there. I got to get my Black Widow. I think I put her with the Joes. She probably blended in. But I was like, wait a minute. Do, 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 do. We're missing somebody. So, I need to get the Black Widow. And I'm still playing around with this, but the reason why I have him right here is because I've said in the video before, I think when I first put him here, the one and only time I've ever seen him on the cartoon was on the Fantastic Four cartoon when he took Galactus down. And, um, shit. All right, in case you don't know, I mean, you might know Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze. So, like, um... The Danny Catch was on the Fantastic Four, so as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I'm pretty sure so it was like She-Hulk, but I feel like I used to have She-Hulk on this shelf, but then said, fuck it. Anyway, I really, 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 really like this figure. Shout out to Marvel vs. Capcom. Hidden Missile! But the fact that it's a cloth cape, but a plastic dude, I, I, I love it. So y'all stay tuned. I got to tell y'all something else. So uh, real quick, that's what it looks like. This shelf is still empty as shit. But uh, we'll get there. So we got one shelf down. Y'all stay tuned. So that's how that's looking. Um, first off, want to represent Flip or Frank. I've been meaning to do this. Hell yeah, Flip or Frank. Um, definitely go support this. The main reason I like supported this is not because like he's part of the tournament. He's, no, because it is a parody character. And I fucking love it. It is hilarious. Cannot wait to get mine. So... That's what um, I won this in the pseudo contact. I know um, I watch Mad Hatter, but like I couldn't quite get the um, I couldn't quite get it the answer right the first time, and I felt so dumb because I literally like watch his channel. Um, I'm about to show you something, and I've already made a video that I was gonna get this. Um, I hated the fact that I I don't hate that I did. I just I'm like okay, the price is what the price is. I don't want to deal without. So I'm not encouraging this type of behavior. I'm not encouraging any of that. Um, I'm still somewhat excited because it is my childhood. And well, I, I forgot I even ordered this thing. I bet you people know where this is going. But when I got to my, when I got home, I was like, what the fuck is that? And then lo and behold. <laughs> so uh, I'm not even going to sit here and try to justify it. This was a guilty pleasure. Um, I have the damn portal. Where am I going to fucking put this? I have no idea, but I am going to find space. I'm going to open this. Like, this will be open probably next weekend. Because I'm playing, like, catch up on, like, my shelving. And it's actually kind of fun putting that shit back up. Like, just reposing them. Ooh, by the way, so I was just watching uh, Shark News the day of as of today, which is the 15th of August. And, you know, do Shark News, bro, I need to pick, I need to take a page from him. Let me tell you how this man, I'm, I'm making fun, but it's like, how are you people doing today? So this is this, this is that, and this is the third. 
Tell me what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Like, oh, shit. Hey, but he's, he's quick, fast, and to the point. I love it because it's almost like TikTok. He's just... He's capturing our attention enough, unlike my black ass, and I'm just talking. But anyway, so his video, the latest one today, was about uh, the best subline. Now, do I consider the Dreadnoughts a subline? Not, not if, for all purposes intended, no. To me, a subline is, you know, because the Dreadnoughts were never like Cobra. It's not like they wore Cobra uniforms, you know? So that was in there, but he was taking a poll basically saying, you know, he didn't say yay or nay. He just like, you know, put the question out there. Is Night Force the best subline right now? I'm going to fucking say yes. Um, I do like that ATV um, from Tiger Force. But that's about it. Like, they just look like that. But I like the whole Night Force aesthetic. Once again, I put my original, like, the um, vanilla, as it were, Tunnel Rat up and kept, because I put some Joes up. I was like, okay, I'm not about to have five Dukes on the show. But I uh, kept the Night Force because it just looks so much better. It's like that times two. You know what I'm saying? Even the fucking, I'm never going to say his name right. <laughs> oh my God, I always draw a blank. But I like that Night Force comes with a few extra accessories. Um, So he got it there. Also today, I forgot about it too. And I was just like, Oh, yeah, because like uh, my friend, we were talking about the um, McFarlane. What is it? The damn, uh, not the Batmobile, which I'm getting to that, but it was his Kickstarter that's going to be coming up on the 20th, the Medieval Spawn. If that's one penny over 100, which it shouldn't be, because I feel like if I remember correctly, his first uh, Kickstarter was like 80 bucks, which, ew. but I mean, like my buddy paid 80 and I think that came with like the autograph version and shit like that, which, okay, that's super collector piece, but I got my McFarlane, um, I feel like, let me grab him out here real quick. So I got my medieval spawn that like I customized, I kind of painted. And what happens is like this kind of like hangs, but to be honest, this only looks better because I use my um, my chrome marker and like painted all this because I I feel that he should have like this was all matte. It's shinier, but I don't have my other camera set up because I moved it to fix my collection. But um, I want that new the new one. Like I'm gonna have them both, but I want that new one. And I would not the way it looked at the uh, Comic Con. I definitely want that. I hope it hits all the tears. But I was able to, I was against it, and I pre-ordered it from the McFarlane website because Big Bad Toys sold out like that. But to me, uh, if they had to put this Alfred with the tumbler, which wouldn't have made sense, I would have been like, Mwah. but um, I pre-ordered the Batman Forever Batmobile. And I need to look this shit up. I really don't know the difference between that one and the one on Batman and Robin, which I really didn't like that one, but I do want a Batmobile to go with George Clooney. So, I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. So, I believe that's pretty much everything. Nothing else new. I'm just still putting, uh, remember my videos used to have that full, like that shelf, it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. But anyway, just wanted to get on and make this video catch up. Uh, thank y'all for all the shout outs. Um, I really appreciate, you know, the conversation we have in the, um, in the chats. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I am about to make it to where it's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, hands down. I would like to do it, even if it's like not, I don't want to be lazy and not say super production, but like, um, I guess this is choices we make, right? But to where Tuesdays and Thursdays is just something like this, where it's just like, uh, cause this is Thursday. So anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Holla back at your boy.